welcome back with Livers. It is a beautiful day here today in North Yorkshire. It's practically tropical. It's such a nice day in fact that I've come into the workshop and I'm just going to turn around and go home again. But not before we do another episode of Tommy's Tonewoods. Today we are looking at Maturium Scloroxylon. That's right. Parfero. <laughs> Remember the botanical name, forgot the, uh, forgot the regular name. Parfero, also known as Brazilian, no, not Brazilian, Bolivian Rosewood, Santos Rosewood, and Moreto. Not a true Dalberger, although Maturiums are uh, very closely related to Rosewoods, to true Dalbergers. It's about as close to a Rosewood, a Dalberger, as you can get without it being a Rosewood. And here it is. Goodness me, how beautiful is that I absolutely love Parfero. It is a uh, fantastic substitute for rosewood. Um, it is used uh, a lot as, an, as a substitute for things like fingerboards. Um, I know Fender use a lot of Parfero now these days and uh, it's easy to see why. It is just, the color of that is just gorgeous. It's this kind of pastel orange and pink, but we've got these kind of speckled, mottled, dark lines running through it. I love it. I absolutely love it. I've built once with Palferro. I built a Nomex back, uh, no braces um, back guitar, which was a couple of years ago now. And that was, that was really fun. That had Palferro out of skin. 1960 on the Janka scale. So in a similar kind of territory to Wenge, Paduk, Zirikote, that kind of thing. And uh, 0.87 um, specific gravity at 12% moisture content. So quite dense. It's nice to work with, but you've got to be a little bit careful. It's what's known as a sensitizer. So the more you work with it, the more sensitive you are likely to become um, to the, the dust. And so it can become an allergen. Uh, some people report being severely allergic to Parfero. Um, I've worked with it only once um, and you know it, it was fine. I think I'm, I always make sure to have my extractors going air purifiers, uh, sorry, air filters running, you know, always wear a mask. Um, really, really important, especially when you're working with these highly resinous tropical hardwoods. Let's give it a little listen, shall we? It's kind of similar to the ebony that we did. It's kind of dialed back a little bit. It feels very rosewoody, it looks very rosewoody, and it does have that kind of rosewood quality to it. There we go. You know it's starting to sustain now. I'm always putting the magic spray out of reach. But because this is such a nice set, we're gonna go the full beans. This comes to us from our friends at Stumac, by the way. They've got some really lovely Parfero sets at the moment. Oh, it's just gorgeous. The color on that is just immense. Really kind of pastel peaches, pinks and oranges with the flecks of brown and some even some yellow tones in there. It's beautiful. Yet again, another timber that uh, I'm excited to get building with. I don't have any Parfero guitars on the books at the moment but uh, I think I'm gonna have to start another spec build. Unless anyone wants a Parfero guitar. Do you want a Bolivian Rosewood or a Santos Rosewood guitar? Let me know, because this is just gorgeous. It's gonna make an amazing guitar. Yeah, I think a Model M or even a little Model S paired with some European Spruce. Ah, <sighs> wood. Isn't wood great? I love doing these shows, just rifling through the wood stash. Brings me so much joy, and I hope it does with you as well. There's even purple in there. It's even got kind of Indian, an Indian rosewood vibe going. What is not to love about Parfero? Unless you're a severely allergic. So anyway, there we go. Materium Scloroxalon from Bolivia, and also Brazil, and other regions in tropical South America. See you tomorrow.